remember from set theory that if you have two sets, say they're called A and B, then we define the intersection of these two sets as the collection of all items that are in both A and B and it's denoted by A cap B or A intersection B. The union of A and B is defined as the collection of all items that are in either A or B and it's denoted by A union B. And we define the complement of a set as the collection of all items that are not in the set. I use the notation A superscript C for the complement but there are many other ways of denoting the complement such as putting a bar on top of A. For the complement to be defined we need to have some sort of a master set containing all possible items that might be considered to be in a set for us to say which elements are not in A. So for example, if my master set is 1, 2, 3, 4, my A is 1, 2, my B is 2, 3, the intersection of A and B would be just 2. This element is in both A and B. The union would be 1, 2, and 3. 1, 2, and 3 are in either A or B, or both, and the complement of A would be 3, 4. Those are the elements not in A. Graphically, using Venn diagrams, we denote the intersection of A and B like this. We denote the union of A and B like this and we denote the complement of A like this. So applying this idea to events where S is the sample space and A and B are arbitrary events, I can create new events by doing the union, intersection and complement of existing events. So let's say that I have two events called A and B then from these events I can create new ones. The event A union B would be a new event and it would be true if either A or B or both are true. A intersection B would be a new event which is true if both A and B are true. And A complement would be a new event which is true if and only if A is false. Here is an example we toss a dice with the usual sample space S and I have defined two events A and B. A is the event that I toss 1, 2 or 3. B is the event that I toss 2, 3 or 4. Then the event A union B is the event that I toss 1, 2, 3 or 4. A intersection B is the event that I toss 2 or 3 while A complement is the event that I toss 4, 5, or 6. Remember that two events are mutually exclusive if they cannot happen at the same time. Well, that basically means that the event A intersection B, that is the event that they do both happen at the same time, must be the null event, which cannot happen. 